Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and today I'd like to demonstrate the new app from Apple called Find iPhone. Now this is an app that works with the MobileMe service so you do need to be a subscriber and basically the app is able to locate and remotely lock or wipe any iOS device. So this includes iPod touches of all generations, iPhones of all generations, and the iPad. So let's go ahead and launch the app. Now the first thing I'll need to do is sign on with my mobile me credentials. As soon as I sign on, it starts locating all the devices I've registered with mobile me. Now let's go ahead and select one of these. Let me just do the iPod Touch. All right, so I can see exactly where I am on the map. So I can zoom in to get a closer look. And of course, that's my house right there. Now if I tap this arrow, it'll take me to some other options. One of them is to display a message or play a sound onto the device. Remote lock. Or remote wipe. So let's go ahead and display a message or play a sound. So I'm just going to say hello. And I have my iPod Touch right here. So let's go ahead and send. Important message, hello. Okay, so the sound will play for, I'm not sure how long, but not indefinitely. You can swipe and unlock it. Now let's say we're afraid that somebody has stolen this and we don't want them to have access to it. We have the option to remotely lock it. So let's go to remote lock and let's type in a simple passcode. Okay, now this iPod is locked. So in order to use it, I'll have to type in that passcode I just entered. Now of course, if somebody has stolen it, they presumably will not know the password. Now I can also remotely wipe it. So if I'm afraid that somebody has access to sensitive data, I can wipe it and restore it once I get it back. So this will erase all the data. I don't want to do that right now, but what will happen is this device will shut down and erase the data. Now let's try my iPad 3G. Once again, it locates the iPad 3G on the map. So here I have my iPad 3G. Now let's do some of the same things. Let's display a sound or message. Okay. And of course that bong and sound will help you to locate it if you don't know specifically where it is. So for example, if you leave it somewhere in the house and you're not sure where in the house it is, go ahead and send the sound and it will help you locate it. Of course you can also do the remote lock again. Now if you go to use the iPad, you'll have to type in that code. Of course, in order to disable that passcode lock, if you didn't want it on to begin with, you have to go to settings, passcode lock, turn passcode off, and you're all set. Since some of these devices do not have GPS antennas built into them, they use other location services. The one Apple devices use is called Skyhook, and basically Skyhook is a service that registers the location of wireless hotspots. Now, if the uh, device is in range of one of these hotspots, it's able to approximate its location. Of course, in order to communicate with any, any of these devices, they have to be in range of some sort of wireless network. Of course, if it's an iPhone, it has access to a cellular network. So once again, that's Detroit Borg with a quick demonstration of the Find iPhone app for the iPhone. Thanks for watching.